Igish Fiontech versus Coco Goff is the fourth quarter final for the ladies event of the French Open for 2023. And both players have had different rows to get to this stage. Goff started the tournament as the number six seed and will play Masarova in the first round. And after losing the first set, would fight back to win 3-6, 6-1, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on Grabber. And this was by far Goff's best win of the week, getting through in straights 6-2, 6-3. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifier on Draver, the 16-year-old sensation in a much hyped match. And after losing the first set, her experience would show Getting through in three, six, seven, six, one, six, one. In the fourth round, she'd take on Smidlova, who had taken out Kudamatova in the first round. And after a close first set, Goff would get through in straights, seven, five, six, two. And to get to the quarterfinals, Igish Fiontek started the tournament off as a number one seed and defending champion, and would take on Bookser in the first round. And after a close first set, would get through in straights, six, four, six, love. In the second round, she'd take on Lou. And again, after a shaky first set, Fiontek got it together in the second, six, four, six, love. In the third round, she'd take on Wong. We're taking out Buzkova, the 31 seed, along the way. And this was by far Fiontek's best performance, getting a double bagel, 6-love, six 6-love, six and showing everybody why she's the number one and the best player on the planet. In the fourth round, she'd take on Sharenko, who had taken out Krajikova and Andrescu in straight sets along the way. But unfortunately, Sharenko was sick and couldn't finish the match, with Fiontek winning 5-1 retirement to make it to the quarterfinals. These two have played six times before, with Fiontek winning all their matches in straight sets, and also on the clay courts of last year in the French Open final. That was an easy 6-1, 6-3, so the confidence is definitely with Fiontek in this one. Goff's going to win this one. She needs to forget about all the other matches they've ever played. Pretend like this is the first time they've ever played. And also being in a quarterfinal might actually help Goff a little bit as well. Because in the final of the French Open last year, she did look a little shocked by the moment. But she's in a quarterfinal. She's been here before. She needs to serve well and hit big if she's going to be any chance of getting any sets of Sviantec. If Sviantec's going to win this one, she just needs to keep riding the wave. She knows exactly what she's been doing. She's been bageling everybody so far this week. And she knows she can beat Goff. She's beaten her so convincingly so many times. It hasn't even been a close set in the last four or five matches they've played. So she just needs to keep doing that. She has the game plan to beat Goff, and she has that psychological edge as well. It's going to be an interesting matchup because we've seen this match so many times over the last 12 months. And of course, it's been the same story every single time. And I think it's going to be the same story again. She's beyond taking straight sets. It's so hard to pick against her when she plays Goff. Maybe if she was playing someone else like a Pagula or a Sabalenka, you could say... You know, Sviantec might be a little closer, but against Goff, she knows how to beat her. So I'm going to go with Sviantec in straight sets, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one.